Hello, thank you so much for joining me as I show you how to decorate 11 adorable Halloween themed sugar cookies using royal icing and royal icing transfers. These cookies are absolutely perfection for beginners. So if you are brand new to cookie decorating, these are super simple to do and I'm going to walk you through the process. I will be using Royal Icing Transfers from my Fall and Halloween Royal Icing Transfer Templates collection, which can be found on my website at littlepenelopescookieboutique.com. I will start off each cookie by outlining and flooding. I'm doing it slowly here, but I will not be showing it as slowly for the rest. But we will start off outlining and flooding each cookie, then using our scribe to smooth out the icing and allowing each cookie to dry before we add our icing transfers. So I outlined and flooded this cookie with gray icing and then I'm using flood black icing to make a little rainbow pattern and using my scribe to pull from top down to the bottom with my scribe inserted into the icing to create this spider web effect. Be sure that when you do this that you wipe off your scribe between each swipe so that you don't drag gray icing back into your black. Once you're done with this, you're going to set this cookie aside and allow it to fully dry. Once the cookie is dry, I'm using that same icing, doing lines for spider webs and using the black spider transfers that have been done previously and dried, and then adding those onto the cookie, using the black outline icing again for the legs. And it lends to an adorable design that is pretty much no fuss. Adding one more witch's hat transfer and this cookie is all done. For our next cookie, we are going to outline and flood with black royal icing. And we are going to do a wet on wet design on this cookie. The wet on wet polka dots that you will see me do are all done with flood icing and I have cut open a very small hole in all of my flood bags so that the polka dots I make are not too large. So outline flood, smooth out your cookie, and then I'm getting all the shades of Halloween colors here and just doing random dots evenly spaced out with flood icing. I realized that I was using a shade lighter than what I had originally intended, so I am now going back over my lighter dots with the darker color of icing. So keep in mind, if you mess up a wet on wet flooded area, you don't necessarily have to scrape your cookie and start over. You can just go right over it again with whatever icing you need. Allow that cookie to dry completely, and then I am using the Boo Halloween Transfer that is dried and attaching it onto the cookie with outline royal icing. The next cookie is a fairly simple but fun wet on wet design again. I'm using a light orange outline and flood icing, filling that in. And then after I smooth it all out with my scribe, I'm going to immediately take some purple flood icing, again with a very small opening in this bag, and do horizontal evenly spaced lines along the whole length of the cookie. Then I will take my scribe and go left, right, left, right inside the icing. I am not cleaning off my scribe here because it's such a small area. Once the cookie has fully dried, I add a royal icing transfer and you could put wording or anything that you want on that cookie as well. This next cookie will be another wet on wet design, a little square. I'm outlined and flooding with a violet. Smoothing out my cookie. I like to pull my icing to my outline just so I don't overflow my cookie with flood icing. Then taking my orange flood icing and doing a pattern of small dots. Keep in mind that whenever you're doing wet on wet, those dots will expand. I added on a ghost royal icing transfer and that cookie is done. This next cookie I am outlining and flooding in a yellow and then I will do orange stripes with flood icing. Here again you see me pulling my icing to my edges. This also prevents me from adding too much icing because when we're doing a wet on wet design we are adding more icing for the decoration. 
I've actually used a outline orange for this cookie to keep those lines more sharp and defined. But it is still a wet on wet. Once it's dry, I'm adding an array of different pumpkin transfers. You will see that I keep adding a little more icing underneath this pumpkin because it is sitting on top of the pumpkin next to it and I don't want it to accidentally get pushed in and crack once it's dry. So I'm building up the icing underneath to prevent that. Add my third pumpkin and she's done. This next cookie we are going to outline and flood with white royal icing. You can see I'm leaving space here on my cookie with the flood, just so that, again, I don't overflow my cookie. This is going to have another wet on wet design using gray flood icing. I'm making just random cloud shapes and allow this cookie to dry completely. Then we will add some bats. These bats are small and they're likely to break so I am putting little dots of icing where I want the bats to go rather than trying to put icing on the back of the bats and then super cute this next cookie outlining and flooding with purple and then we will do another spider web design within this wet icing before allowing it to dry completely and adding some royal icing transfers. Taking my black flood and making another cobweb, dragging my scribe through and I'm cleaning the scribe off between each drag. Cookie is now dry. I'm going to add another spider web with a cute spider transfer using outline icing to add four legs onto each side of the spider. Now I'm going to take a witch's cauldron and add that to the cookie and a skull and crossbone and some eyeball transfers and this cookie will be completed. If you have never used royal icing transfers before they are a great way to make your cookie decorating go a lot faster because you can create a whole bunch of transfers all at one time let them dry and use them as you're ready to decorate your entire cookie if you're not familiar with royal icing transfers if on my instagram i have a live where i talk all about royal icing transfers is a great resource to go there and my instagram is little penelope's cookie boutique as well I'm going to do a, another wet on wet design here. This time I'm doing all orange with the exception of that circle. I'm going to fill in with yellow and I've outlined that circle because this is a large space. So I decided to just have a separate outline of that design versus adding yellow on top of the orange. That way, again, less likely to overflow my cookie filling in the yellow and then I'm going to blend it around and make it not so perfectly round because I want it to look like a moon glow. So you see me dragging my scribe around making an irregular outline of this moon. I'm going to take some bat royal icing transfers and some ghost royal icing transfers and attach those to the cookie. Another great thing about royal icing transfers is that you can look at your cookie and see where you want them to go before they're applied. Once again, outlining and flooding white, let that dry completely. And then I'm using some different ghosts again to add transfers on. Draw a black outline going from left to right on your cookie so that these ghosts look like they're hanging from a banner. Then I'll go and add some little bows and she's done. Another gray cookie, we will do a wet on wet design. Outlining and flooding with gray. And then I am using black outline, not flood, but outline icing to create a plaid pattern. Doing two lines rather close together, leaving a large space and doing that all the way down the cookie, turning it to its side and doing one line evenly spaced down the other side of the cookie and then decided to add one more line on the bottom just to keep with that pattern. 
using some candy corn transfers, applying those to this cookie. And look how cute this has turned out. Now I'm going to make dirt. And so I have taken cookie that I have shaved off and I've added black royal icing. I'm just smushing it together. You will see people make colored crumbs or moss using plain food gel, but I actually like to take the royal icing because it adds less color, but it also makes it thicker. The crumbs will be thicker. So I really want this to look like dirt. Now I am outlining and flooding this cookie with black. And while this is still dry, I'm going to take the crumb mixture that I made using the black and purple royal icing and a spoon and I'm just pouring the cookie crumbs onto the top of the royal icing. I'll then take the cookie and hang it kind of sideways upside down to get the extra crumbs off and allow that to dry. Once it's dry, I am adding on some royal icing transfers and I'm having them stick up about a 45 to 40 degree angle on certain areas just to look like a more of a 3D graveyard. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you found this video entertaining and I hope that you learned something as well as far as your cookie decorating journey. Please subscribe for more fun cookie videos.